hello hello so now you have installed Linux server also the Minecraft server you started it for the first time now you need to kind of start to mess with the configuration files both when it comes to the server and the plugins so first you actually need to install the plugins and the server is off and this is the plugins that I use um, and I have a list on the uh, blog post to or in the video description I think to these plugins and it's a, a Google Docs document and the, the names on the plugins is there and also the links to the plugins so what I do is that I will just select everyone here and select copy and then I go to the spigot server on the uh, virtual machines and here you can see all the different files here are the worlds normal world nether and the end and here are the plugins folder so just go in there and paste it in perfect and I noticed that in the previous video the startup uh, script that the uh, memory allocation for the server was a bit high so I'm actually going to edit that um, and it, of course it depends on how much memory you have on your computer or your virtual machine uh, the virtual machine that I have right now I have only have four gigs of memory and it's not recommended to use all of that for the Minecraft server so uh, the Linux server doesn't use that much memory so I can use let's say 3 gig uh, for this uh, so I just save it and yeah so that's that and so what you need to do now uh, to get the configuration files for the plugins and stuff uh, you actually need to start the server again so I'm going to use putty here to connect to the server and it just took like this and And there are some updates. So let's actually do that later. Okay, so you need to go to the server folder. So cd mc. And of course, it depends on where you actually have your server. This is what I did. And now I need to start the server. So uh, sudo. Dot dash start dot sh and there we go. No new version available. Okay, so it says done. So now I can actually stop the server. And clear. So I just minimize that and I go back here. Now you can see I created a bunch of these folders. And in here there are a bunch of permission stuff. But we'll get to that later. I just wanted to create those files. So now we're actually going to start with the server itself. You have a bunch of configuration files here. 
but not the Eula really. <laughs> you actually have this, so open with uh, notepad. Things like this. And uh, the one that I'm going to start with is actually just called pro uh, server. And I'm actually going to change it like this as well. Uh, extensions. Uh, it's called server.properties. And it's the main kind of server settings file. So you go into it. And it looks like this. Just minimize this. And there's a bunch of things you can do here. Uh, I name it to change this server name. Uh, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> and gener generator settings. Uh, you don't need to do anything like that. Uh, game mode. You can force game mode on players, uh, so they will always be in a certain uh, game mode. You know, survival, creative, stuff like that. Allow nether, true, which means that you can uh, go to the nether. You can set this to false, so you can't use nether. Uh, game mode, zero is uh, survival. So when people go to the server, they will be in survival mode. Uh, one is creative. Uh, two is adventure mode, I think it is. Three is spectator mode. But if you want the survival, survival server, it's going to be this. Neighbor query can be default, default difficulty. Zero is peaceful, which means they won't spawn any mobs at all. One is easy. Two is normal. Three is hard. I just keep it at default. Spawn monsters. Uh, even though it's set to kind of hard, you can disable spawning of monsters. That's kind of annoying if you want mob farms and stuff. <laughs> so keep it to true. OP permissions level, uh, I set that to 2 actually. So that you can uh, whitelist people and do stuff like that. PvP, which means you can kill other players. Uh, it's set default to true. I set that to false actually because I find it annoying when people troll you and kill you. So if you set it to false, people can't kill you or kill other players. Snooper default level type default is a um, normal world, nothing special about it, just a regular Minecraft world. There are other type of worlds is called amplified so instead of default you can change it to um, amplified if you want to or you can have flat and it needs to be in capital letters but if you want a regular normal minecraft world it's default hardcore mode uh, hardcore means in single player at least, that when you die, the world will be deleted. But that's kind of a problem on the server. <laughs> uh, so hardcore on a server means that I think if you die, you will be sort of kicked from the server <laughs> or banned or whatever. I don't remember what it was, but in some, the world won't be deleted, <laughs> but you get kicked or whatever, something like that. Um, but I set it to false because normal Minecraft server. Enable command block. So if you want to use command blocks on your uh, server, you should set this to true. 
uh, you can place command block. If you set the faults, you can't use them. You you can place them, and uh, yeah, that's kind of it. You can end, enter the command blocks, but you can't uh, type in commands because when you try to press the done button, if you say, "Well, command block is not allowed on the server." I want to be able to use command blocks, so I'll set this to true. Max players. Uh, how many players, maximum amount of players do you want to have on your server? Default is 20. And if you're going to have like a hundred players or whatever, you need to uh, allocate more memory as well too for the server. Uh, keep it at 20, default. This doesn't need to be changed. Uh, resource pack, shall, let's see. Yeah, not this one. Server port. This is the uh, default port, 25565. And if you are on a server host, you might have a different port number. Uh, if you keep it at default port, uh, the only thing uh, your friends need to type in the multiplayer when they add the server is the address to your server. But if you change this, for example, to let's say 90, you actually need to type the address and the port number as well. I change that. Server IP doesn't need to be used. It's a single spawn NPCs, which is villagers. So set that as a true. Allow flight. If you want people to be able to fly, like in creative mode, you want to set it to true. And level name, right now, that's the world name, which is uh, this one, you see it's just named world. If you want to have a different name for that, you can change it. But the thing is that uh, it will recreate so the, the worlds. But I just keep it at default. View distance uh, in the game itself is called, I think it's render distance. As I suggest you keep it at 10 actually, because if you go above 10, it starts to be a bit laggy and slow, the server. So keep it at 10. Resource pack, you can have a resource pack on the server itself. and you can, uh, when you enter a server, you get the question if you want to be able to use the server texture pack or download it at least and use it. Uh, I don't use that. Spawn animals. Animals are, you know, cows, pigs, chickens. Uh, it's different from uh, spawn monsters or mobs like zombies, skeletons. And these are the animals, pigs, stuff. Whitelist. If you keep it to false, anyone can connect to the server. Doesn't matter who it is, they can connect to it. So it's great for public server, uh, but I want to have some control at least uh, on who connects to the server. So I set this to true which means that I have to add the player to the whitelist so that they can connect to it. If they're not on the whitelist, they can't connect to it. Generate structures. That structures are things like village, villages. Uh, they can be those mansions in the forest and ocean monuments and stuff. Uh, online mode, yeah, that's a bit true. Um, and yeah, I'm going to talk about this. If you have a cracked, cracked client or cracked Minecraft, you can't connect to an online server if you set it true. So, but if you have a cracked client and want to be able to connect to the server, you have to set this to false. 
but I don't like when people crack and hack games, so I said this is true. So if you have a hacked or cracked client, you can't connect to the server. Level seed. Uh, every world have a special unique uh, seed. And uh, the world is generated around that seed, so to speak. And if you if you use the same seed on the different worlds, they will look the same. So if you have a special seed that you want to use, you can type it here. Print proxy connections. Uh, I just keep this default message of the day. M O T D. Just. Uh, your baby. Yo. <laughs> but I'm going to change that in essentials later in a different plugins. Enable our account false. So that's the main settings for the server that I do. Love that. And what else? Well, here are some other files you can change. You have uh, bucket yml and here's kind of a funny little thing uh, you can change some stuff here for example here called spawn limits monster animals water animals and ambient and default this is default settings and of course you can change this so if you want more monsters to spawn, you can set it to, like, let's say, a double it, so 140, 30, 10, and 30. So now there will be a lot more stuff. <laughs> let's save that. And then we have, actually, do it like this. Uh, the bucket uh, permissions will be later on spigot. You can change stuff here as well. Mm. And sample, let's see what can we change here that is fun. Uh, remember that the uh, in the uh, permissor permissions, the uh, view distance is set to 10. Uh, if you change this, you need to also change, this, change it in here. And it's uh, somewhere. I always forget where it is. I can search for it. Well, let's see here. This. Where did it show up? Oh, okay, it's over here. Maybe. Yeah, here is view distance. So if you change it in the server permissions or the server properties, you also need to change it over here. But otherwise, there's nothing really here you can, should change. Uh, if you're going to run a thing called bungee cord, you need to change that over here. So if you have bungee cord, you change change this to true. But this is a single uh, single server, so it kept to false. Otherwise, keep everything at default. And what else uh, do we have here? We have Eula bucket. That's kind of it. Uh, then we have a couple of other files here. For example, whitelist. So people that are whitelisted will show up here. Same thing if you ban players. A ban IP address. You can ban a specific IP address as well. Which means that, 
For example, if you are four people in a home playing Minecraft, if you ban an IP, no one in that home can play in the server. But if you ban a player, uh, the, only that player will be banned. But that's kind of it to start up uh, the general general settings for the server and the next video will be I will start to do a bunch of settings for the plugins especially one big one is the essentials this uh, config file is quite big well, there are a lot of settings here so this will be taking a while But yeah, that's the main setting, at least for the server. So, uh, see you in the next video. Bye bye.